Hey guys, it's Rick Aran for here, or Rick for short, and yes, I have started doing commentary again, yay, and as you can probably tell, it's a support turret game, so this was doing a ranked match with my good old buddy, Jordan854912, uh, who was playing the Evelyn in this game, and originally he wanted to go mid, he was first pick and everything, but we had a fourth pick that sort of... Well, he was a bit annoying and he wanted mid, and he ended up just insta locking Mordekaiser later on, so it was going to be Evelyn top. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to have Corky Bolt with me, and then Jungle Mundo for our team. The enemy team, they have a Siva Teemo bot, Cho'Gath top, an Oriana mid, and I believe their jungle is a Fiora. So, um,. First things first, uh, I haven't made a commentary in a long time, and I'm, I know quite a few people have actually been asking for a commentary because uh, they don't really like just normal, just gameplay without commentary. Um, so, yeah, basically that's main main reason why I'm doing commentary, but also because I like doing commentary. It's always fun. So Tarek is a uh, support tank champion. Uh, I'm not sure how else you would play him, AD, Bruiser, or AP, Tank, I don't know. Um, as Mundo goes top for a gank, and there's the Ignite, but they're not going to be able to get him. So, basically, his f uh, passive is, to be honest, I do not remember. I probably should have looked at it, at it but I do not remember his passive, which is really bad of me. Um, his Q though is a heal, and it's quite an interesting heal because, uh, if you heal an ally, then it will also heal you, but if you heal yourself, it will heal more than if you had just healed an ally. Uh, meanwhile, Teemo has just appeared, there's the exhaust on him, and I'm gonna get him really low, and slow-mo, I get first blood. So we were going to go into the Siva, she is quite low, but then again, so are we, so we're just going to back off and heal up. And I'm going to go up and ward in a few seconds. So, um, that's his first ability's heal. I like to normally get it to level 3, and then I'll start maxing his W, which is this type of shard aura that gives like armor and magic resist, something or other. And you can activate it to deal damage in an AoE, and it removes the aura. So it looks like Fiora coming in for a gank, and Teemo's back in lane. So she's going to go after Corky, but Corky's going to Valkyrie away, so she's going to go for me. Then she's going to go for Corky when he comes back in, but we're going to be able to stun her. And then uh, Corky's going to be able to take her out, and also getting red buff in the process. So I tried to get my uh, Corky to recall, and he ends up doing so soon. Well, eventually. So, uh, standard sort of build, I started with a uh, fairy charm and four wards and a health pot, and now I still have two wards left, but I was able to get a philosopher's stone, uh, built from that fairy charm, plus boots. Uh, my next item was going to be a heart of gold, and then I was just going to straight rush an Aegis of the Legion, because I thought it was pretty good against this team, and I just like getting it on supports, because to be honest, I have no idea what to build on supports. Anyway, so his E is a stun, which is probably the thing that Tarek is most known for, which is why he's picked, because he does have that stun. Uh, there's something or rather about the range, how, depending on the range, is how much damage, something like that. I'm not too sure about the specifics, I just use it for the stun, obviously. Uh, so Siva ha does have that spell s shield, so what I tried to do was I tried to uh, get get her to use it. So I was going to walk up to her, making it look like I'm going to use my stun, but I'm actually not going to, so she can use her shield. So I'm going to put the stun down, and then here comes Mundo for the gank. He's going to use his cleaver, then there's the Valkyrie from Cookie, and then Mundo is going to be able to pick up the kill and flash away with the heal. And here comes Fiora. She's not going to be able to do much. I do use my stun, but to... Not really anything, and it looks like Timo is doing absolutely nothing, and he's gonna die to Corky. All right, so his ultimate, uh, I have no idea what any of his spells are called. I know something's called Dazzle, and another one's called Rainbow Gay Fairy Boot thing. Um, but his ultimate, he slams down on the ground, dealing magic damage and an aura, uh, 
area. And it grants him bonus attack damage and ability power. I think it's like 20 or 40 or something like that. And it gives half of that to surrounding allies. So, it, all in all, Tarek is a great aura um, team fight support champion who uh, contributes a lot to team fights, especially if he gets a lot of aura items such as uh, Shirelia's uh, Locket of the Iron Solari, Randuin's. Um, and of course, Age of the Aegis of the Legion, because in team fights he's able to just use those effectively and use his uh, his oh wow his armor and his W his Shia uh, his aura and also his ultimate. So there's the stun, there's the Valkyrie, and we're going to try and follow up on this teamer, but team is going to get away. So I'm going to exhaust onto Sibba, get her really low, put my stun on her, and then we're going to be able to kill her with the ignite from Corky. And then he's going to be able to finish off Teemo with a rocket for the double kill. Uh, so now we do have a significant lead over bot lane. I think it's like a two or three level advantage, and we've also been involved in six kills. Uh, so yep, there's my heart of gold, and I'm just waiting on that ward which I do get, and I quickly scurry off back to my lane. So, um, I'm not sure what to talk about. So Tarek sort of, I guess each support sort of has like, um, different champions that are good with a specific champion, like, uh, for instance, Tarek is good with champions like Corky or Vayne, um, especially Vayne because, like, for instance, there's the stun and then ta uh, Vayne can get behind her, uh, well, the target, do a lot of damage and also knock them back or into a wall or whatever. So, um, that also goes, like, for supports like Janna goes well with Vayne, um, especially Alistar goes well with Vayne, but with Corky, I think, uh, the stun uh, from Tarek uh, really does help because uh, Cookie can just Valkyrie in. And yes, I did just use my stun on a minion. But I wanted to go for this Teemo, but we weren't going to go in. And I didn't want Cookie to go back in, but I did use my ultimate, so he's going to go back in. He's getting really low, no, la, 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 low now, so he's going to be able to finish off Teemo. But unfortunately, Teemo is going to get him with that toxic shot. And unfortunately, Chogath is going to kill our Evelyn top. So I did want to try and bait the Sivan to coming for me. I did take a turret shot because here comes Mundo. But she does back off, unfortunately. If only I had um, stunned her, then all of this would be avoided, which is about to happen. So, looks like Mundo is going to dive. He's almost going to get her. There's the stun. And he leaves her on a bit of HP. He gets really low. I flash just, before, just after she flashes, unfortunately. And I don't have anything to do, so unfortunately she's going to take me down. So that was a very bad move by me, but also I do blame Mundo because he didn't finish her off. But, you know, that, that is also my fault. Uh, so it looks like uh, he does die to Fiora anyway, which is really bad. But it looks like Corky will get a kill on Teemo uh, right now. Yep, there we go. Alright, so... Um, also, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but uh, the quality for this is actually quite crap. But the good thing is that the frame rate is actually higher. So what I've been doing is I'm going on the lowest resolution possible, and then I'm going um, recording at half resolution. So, mm mm, gotta love that 720p that actually should be like 360. But you know, I'd rather have frame rate than quality. Actually, no, screw that. Depends what type of quality it is. Like I'm not gonna have like 10p in exchange for 100 frames a second. Anyway, so it looks like uh, some kind of double gank going on top, so both junglers at top with their tops, and it looks like Evelyn's taking quite a bit of damage, and she is going to be knocked up. Uh, that's weird. Chogath knocked up uh, Evelyn. Anyways... So, just warding up, so, not much happening, except, yeah, nothing is happening. So, normally, w w I don't know what to talk about, I'm so out of it. I mean, it's like, midnight, 
almost, it's right now two minutes to midnight. So I'm sort of tired and I have to get up early tomorrow, but you know, I decided to make this video. I did play this like an hour ago. Anyway, so I was going to take the turret long enough for Corky to get the kill and this is what I, I hardly ever see in supports. Supports normally just continue attacking the, ca uh, the enemy champion, which is actually pretty good as well because that means that they'll probably kill the person quicker. But at the same time, it means that they will probably take the kill. And you should never take the oh you well I did take first blood but Cookie was never gonna get it so um if you can try and give all the kills to your carries or even your tank I mean I'd rather have like the Bruiser tank Singe take the kill than Tarek uh uh because that way. Uh, you'll be able to get your carries fed, and you'll, you have your gold per five, so that, that'll be enough for you. And as you can see, I do have that ruby crystal for building into that, um, Aegis. And also, I did get cooldown boots, because I have no idea what to buy. Anyway, so, I did stun Teemo, and there's the Valkyrie and exhaust from, uh, Corky, but I did put down the exhaust. And there's the kill on Teemo. We're going to go after Siva. She is going to cleanse just after I use that uh stun which was quite interesting yes you saw the fiora model at the double golems but somehow she's at mid now and she's gonna hold on to mordekaiser under the turret and be able to get the kill and quickly get away excuse me uh so we did get we did manage to get one or two kills i'm not sure if we killed the silver eventually but but we are going to get a kill here as we go mid for a gank as this oriana's just staying around a bit too long so i'm gonna flash stun even though i probably just could have stunned her but i didn't want to uh take a chance and also as you noticed there i did leave it once again for the corky Alright, so, uh, now that I have some time and I have absolutely nothing to talk about, um, if you guys have Twitter or Facebook, then, um, just follow me, I'll be uploading tweets or statuses or whatever the hell, um, whenever I upload a video or I'm doing something, so, yeah, just, uh, tell your friends about it as well just spread the word spread the love and as you can see this corky is going to be chasing this teemo through mushrooms but he'll eventually get the kill now but unfortunately here comes fiora and she's going to be using her lunge and unfortunately he's just about to get the kill and then she uses that damn riposte and that finishes him off otherwise uh he probably would have gotten the kill because he does have a shit ton of damage Anyway, so I was top uh, trying to gank, and I ended up failing it, so Corky was left alone without her support, but I had to quickly rush bots so this uh, server wouldn't be able to take the turret. Anyway, so yes, for Twitter and Facebook, the links will be in the description, but just in case, my Twitter is at Gaming, obviously, and my Facebook is also Gaming. Uh, so, going after this server, Mundo and I, just like buddies, and we're going to be able to kill her, two peas in a pod. And then we're going to go after this team, I slowed down by his shrooms, failing the cleaver, there's the stun, there's even more shrooms. Mundo, uh, Mordekaiser are getting a double kill mid, then we're going to be able to run into another shroom, because we're retarded. And then team is going to stay around for some stupid reason, that means I'm going to be able to stun him, then the cleaver's going to miss, but then I'm going to basic attack and then use my W and finish off the kill just before the cleaver comes comes in uh yeah i just want to kill and i didn't think uh the cleaver was going the wrong way anyway anyway so yes yeah, gonna push this tara going to be able to take it down fiora is going to come in just any second uh as evelyn takes the enemy's blue buff and yes there she is so i wanted the stun there's valkyrie uh there's a uh, Corky coming in with the exhaust, there's the Valkyrie, then he's going to be able to get the kill, and here comes Mordekaiser and Cho'Gath, so unfortunately, Corky's going to get knocked up by Cho'Gath, is going to go down in just a second, but I was able to stun Corky, uh, sorry, Cho'Gath, before he's able to devour Corky, unfortunately, Mordekaiser falls to Oriana, then looks like Mundo's going in, me and Corky getting quite low, Evelyn going after Teemo, taking him down, then going after the Siva, being able to take her down, then going after the Cho'Gath, and me getting quite low after Oriana using her ball to take me down health. But she, uh, Evelyn will be able to take down Corky for a delayed so-called triple kill. 
and start off a killing spree. Meanwhile, Mundo's going to run into Oriana, and it looks like Evelyn's going to be able to go after, uh, go after Oriana as well. And it looks like they're going to get Oriana quite low. I don't know what the health bars are, unfortunately, because of low recorder. And unfortunately, Evelyn's going to be taken down by Oriana. Meanwhile, Timo's unfortunately going to kill Mundo. I'm not sure how that happened. Probably a shroom, uh, which I do not understand at all. Anyway, so when I went back, I did get an Aegis, as I said, some wards, some health pots, and I still have my gold for fives. Cho'gath loves my stuns. Alright, looks like uh, Evelyn going in here after uh, Oriana, my bad, not Aurelia. Using a Deadfly Grasp, then her ultimate, and being able to take her down. And it looks like Mordekaiser is going to take the kill. Then they're going to go after Sivir. Looks like she's going to flash out and use her ultimate, but it's not going to be enough. And the cleanse, but Evelyn just has too much damage, which I don't understand. I mean, apparently in a... For uh, in a statement by Riot recently, uh, they think that she's actually, you know, balanced. I mean, she is quite strong, but I still think she's underpowered. Anyway, so we were able to pick off that Cho'gath before he reached the turret, and me and Evelyn were going to go top to push out this wave and take down the turret. Meanwhile, Corky unfortunately going ta taken down by Teemo, but was able to pick up the kill on Fiora before, uh, well, after he died. Oh, and another thing to add about his heal from, like, Tarek's heal. Uh, basic attacks on enemy, uh, min uh, like, enemies. I'm not sure about, uh, structures, but, uh, enemies in general. Uh, it does lower the cooldown by, I think, one. Anyway, so, I saw my health pots because, obviously, I do not need them. Ooh, headsets gone funny. Uh, bought a chain vest to build, like, a frozen heart. Um, as I thought it would be good because it does lower their attack speed. Anyway, Corky being able to pick up the kill on Fiora. Looks like they're chasing up to Teemo, and Teemo's going to be taken down by the Mordekaiser ultimate. Then they're going to be going up to Cho'gath and Oriana, and it looks like, will they ever get the kill on Cho'gath? Yes, they will, and there's the health bars. Looks like Mordeca uh, Mundo's really low, and Oriana's going to be able to get the kill, and there's the surrender vote. That's going to be GG. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Leave a comment on who would like me to play next. Thanks, guys, for watching. Follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook, and I'll see you guys in the next video.